Welcome to Mill City Roasters in Northeast Minneapolis. So basically, we started some virtual classes. We have virtual 101, roasting 101, and a virtual 102. 101 is intro class. Um, I think it's four to five hours per day, it's over three days, so it's a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday class. We do it online, we do up to 16 students. But one of the things we do is we're sending out a kit with this class. So in the virtual 101 kit, you will get two 12 ounce bags labeled production roast to just basically drink on Saturday after your three day class. So this is more of a fun thing and an exciting learning opportunity to try some neat roasted coffee, production roast. And I'm trying my best to keep some, some um, large variants in either the roast profiles of the coffees for Saturday or the processes of the coffees on Saturday. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna roast the final roasts for the Saturday coffee. I already have one Saturday coffee done. It's the natural West Darcy. So we're doing one, one of the coffees is gonna be a natural. What we're gonna use for the other coffee is a Costa Rican. We have this fresh Costa Rican and it's a white honey. So Costa Rica does a lot of honey. A white honey would be a honey that's processed to be pretty close to a washed. So not a lot of um, mucilage or a lot of stuff left on the, the seeds after they've been run through the mechanical uh, pulper, mechanical honey machine. And then it's turned quite quickly. This coffee is actually very bright. It has a lot of nuance. It's kind of a little different for me. Like it's got a, a very strong strawberry nuance. And it's, uh, it's kind of hard to coax out of it with the roast, but I have hit it a few times. I have a roast profile already set up. So basically the profile on this is gonna be, I'm gonna use a 385 charge temp. I'm gonna do something super strange on this roast. I'm doing something on these roasts, on this roast that I don't do on any roasts. I'm gonna turn my air to a, 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 an air level that's almost too low, but I'm only gonna leave it there for the first minute and a half because I'm gonna have my gas off. I'm gonna do a minute and a half soak, which is pretty long soak, but I have, I'm only doing a four and a half kg charge on this six kg. So I have plenty of juice in the machine to get the coffee moving as I need to, or to control the roast as I need to. So that's why I can go with a minute and a half soak. I'm really trying to coax as much sweetness out of this coffee as possible. So I'm just gonna try a little alternative method with a lower airflow setting at charge to a minute 30, which is when I'm gonna turn the gas on and then immediately bring the air up to my low air setting, which will be 15. So a minute 30, I'm gonna do two four KPA and then we're gonna move the coffee along. We're hoping for a 4.50 uh, green to yellow transition time. Pretty quick um, uh, turnaround for first crack. So 7.30 will be first crack time. So not a, bunch, not a lot of time, 2.40, 2.40 in the mid. And then roughly we're looking for first crack to happen around 7.30. And then we're going plus a minute 54 to the roast level. But I developed this roast on the 500 gram. And you can see I'm roasting it on the 6 kg. So I, I know the thermocouples won't read accurately, so I can't use a final temperature off my 500 gram to decide the final roast level of this Costa Rican white honey since this is my first roast on the 6K of this coffee. So I have a small sample from the 500 gram successful roast, my ideal roast off the 500 gram right here. So I'm gonna be on the trier in that last 45 seconds of development trying to marry up those colors. When I hit my time, I'm gonna hope my temperature is right on and that's when I'm gonna discharge. I have two shots of this roast, or two shots of this, uh, this uh, profile. I'm gonna do them back to back. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, 48 on my hertz on my drum speed, um, which translates to 54 RPMs. This is gonna be the Saturday coffee for 101, but roasting 102 is a little bit more focused on one coffee. So if you're interested in this white honey, roasting 102, which is the following week, is gonna be only roasting the, the Costa Rican white honey. We focus on one coffee, roasting it multiple ways, and it's just a one day, six hour class. So roasting 102, every roasting 102 will have a focus coffee. It's gonna be this white honey. So we're kind of doing the white honey as a little bit of a teaser as a Saturday coffee, and then the full class of virtual 102 will be the white honey. It's gonna be, it's, it's a light roast. It's quite uh, bright. It's very bright, it's very tart. Taste, uh, when I taste things, I see colors in my mind. You know what I mean? And so the, the, the labels, the labels for these roasts are actually created from that. And it's a different label. Like the colors in this coffee for me are a little different. But this is the first roast I've ever done of this coffee on this machine. So I'm hoping um, I get close to it. That's why I take really good notes. If I basically go back and look at all my 4.5 kg roasts on this machine, and then I look at the charge temperatures that I would use for those roasts. And then I would look at the initial gas settings I would use for those roasts, the amount of soak time. And then I would look at where that green to yellow transition occurred. 
So I basically looked at those and I found the ones that were closest to my goal of 450. I just kind of used that data and kind of modded that data a little bit using my roaster brain to come up with what I'm using for parameters on this roast, which are a 3D85 charge, air at 12, fuel at zero. At 130, I'm gonna hit it with gas. I'm gonna bring the air right up to 15, which is you know my lower air, and then I'm gonna hit it with uh, 2.4 kPa uh, gas. So we're at 387, so I'm filling up the hopper, and we're pretty close. Fridays in roasting, you never really know. So I had my phase data set up and it was 450 to green to yellow, 730 to first crack, and then plus 154. That was my phase data for my ideal roast, not the 500 gram. So I just brought that data over to the six, or to the six kg. I was roasting a 4.5 kg batch. So I used a lot of the data that I had created running 4.5 kg batches on the six kg to try and build my profile, even though it's a one-off. You know, I've never done it before. And so um, I'm really happy with the way it went. So basically both profiles were really close to each other. I had about a 30 second variance in time of the whole profile. So the whole profile went about 30 seconds long on both roasts. The roast level was really accurate. I feel like I pretty much nailed the roast level with the proper development time. I had the development phases pretty much right on the money. Um, the variance though was in the dry phase. So I had a 30 second uh, variance on both roasts long, so 30 seconds longer but 20 of those seconds were spent in the dry phase. So my goal for the dry phase was 450, and on both roasts, I hit my dry phase at 510. So I had 20 seconds long at that moment, and then I only had about five seconds more per phase after that. So my mid phase had about five seconds of a little bit longer amount of time, and my uh, development phase went about five seconds long to the proper roast level. So for two roasts that I basically just kind of created the data, and just to know there's a slight variance by seconds in uh, both mid and development phases of both roasts. So what I'm gonna do before we package up this coffee is I'm gonna take both roasts and just mix them together before I hand them over to get packaged. So that's one with production roasting and you have a subtle variance in a couple profiles or a couple roasts off the same profile, you just mix them together before you hand them off. So next week, if you're part of the Roaster 101 uh, group, you're gonna get this mailed out in your kit. We also sell this coffee on the web. If you're interested in buying this coffee in 10 ton bags, Good to go, we have it available right now. Um, we can help you with a little bit of roast profiling um, data if you need that. Um, and like I said, in Roasting 102, which is gonna happen roughly in about two and a half weeks, I wanna say, or two weeks from tomorrow, or two weeks from today, I guess. Um, that'll be a focused class where we're gonna do at least four to five roasts of just the Costa Rican honey. And if you have a roaster, you need a roasting machine to basically take that class. We actually roast together online. There'll be four students and I, and we're gonna roast these profiles together. And then we're gonna talk about the cups a little bit and things like that. All right, thanks for paying attention. Cheers.